it is quarter to five on Saturday morning, and I am starting my adventure to Toronto today to the World Poutine Eating Championships. And of course, first stop we're going to make for any Canadian road trip will be to Horton. So I'm going to pop into the Esso on the Run where I work and grab myself a coffee. Got my coffee, and I'm on my way to Toronto. So I've just stopped at a Trenton en route, so we're about halfway here. Hi, Larry. Uh, so this is my first time driving more than an hour on my own. I've only had my license for about seven years, so it's quite an adventure. I'm doing so okay so far. I'm not tired or anything, but figuring a stop and grab a coffee and a bagel. A large double double dark roast and everything toast with butter. Let's hit the road again. I made it. I am in downtown Toronto. It was a little bit nerve-wracking. I've never driven into downtown Toronto before. Every time we've come to Toronto, we usually take the GO bus. So yeah, I found, well, the, it told me to turn on Dundas Square, but it was closed because they're setting up for the Poutine Festival. Um, so I kind of drove around a bit till I found my way back to Dundas East where they said that we could park. So I found a parking lot. Not sure if it's the parking lot that they suggested, but hopefully there were spots. I'm going to go to the booth and pay and hopefully it's okay that I park here. Um, yeah, so it's 10 to 9. It doesn't start till 10, so I'm super early. I left a little bit early just because I wasn't sure about traffic and everything. So I'm going to go find somewhere to go to the washroom because those uh, coffees are catching up to me. We'll check in later. So as I mentioned before, I'm really early. It's still pretty early. It's 9 and 10 o'clock yet, and that's when uh, the championship starts, at least the first portion with the free poutine and the entertainment and all that. I just came back to my vehicle to get my sweater because it's a little bit chilly out and it started raining. So I'm just hanging out in my van for a little bit until the rain lets up or, uh, yeah, we'll go check out some festivities soon. I'd like to take, thank, I'd like to take this moment, we're going to get more poutine. Go! Move for, move for, Gordy is going for a beverage approach. It's not pretty good. As we approach 30 seconds to go, 30 seconds remaining.
is not simply made of poutine. He is the living, living embodiment of smoked poutinery itself. With nine boxes in just two minutes, your chief entertainment officer, Mr. Ryan Smolkin. I would like to take this trophy and I'd like to put it up at my home with the pride or at global headquarters with pride. But this trophy belongs to this man beside me who helped me put this together and why don't say help me, he put it together. I'm in his shadow. This man is unbelievable and inspiration. True, true inspiration. I present this to you. Kevin Collins, all yours.
Folks, Blue Team Lee staff are adjudicating the results to look at who ate what during the contest. We have many of the top 10 rankings from the Young Dundas Square to work out who for the next 12 months will be the reigning Blue Team eating champion of the world. It looks like it's going to come down. It's going to come down to a very close run thing. I think between Chestnut, Comma J, Stoney, Comma M, it would appear Sick Connie for the powerful effort. The rookie newcomer eating the food team for the first time in sanctioned competition, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I want Chestnut, I want Stoney, and I want Sick Connie. Once you're right here, I would like all our ingredients to take a step back to the table. Alright, here's the headline tomorrow. New world record. Thank you. One of these three gentlemen, not named Jeffrey Esmond, one of these three gentlemen ate 25 pounds of smoked sweet cheese. Quarter pounds in 10 minutes. But why 25 and a half? Yeah. In third place, with 23 and one quarter pounds of sports routine and poutine, it's Matthew Stoney, ladies and gentlemen. how good the footage was I just had my phone I didn't have a tripod or anything so I know I didn't get very much very good footage of the professional comp at all just because there was no room on the stage um, but I did get some shots here and there and I took a glimpse at my my eating and I know my head was chopped off most of the time but I'm gonna share it anyways so let you see what I got into so I ate six boxes or half pounds each so about three pounds but unfortunately I didn't keep it down. I think I just pushed myself too fast. The last two minutes I kind of just said I'm done. I'm done. Unfortunately I didn't keep it down. So now I'm hungry after being in a poutine eating competition. Well thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed what footage I did get and congratulations to Joey Chestnut for beating his old records with 25 and a half pounds of poutine. And he kept saying in 10 minutes. It was actually under 10 minutes because they actually ran out of poutine. So I think it's about eight and a half minutes. But yeah. Well, I mean three top competitors with over 20 pounds each so I think next year they're gonna have to be prepared for much more poutine. Thanks for watching, see you again. Oh,